Ahoy there, fellow pirates and treasure hunters of the digital seas. Today, we're setting sail into the heart of Ubisoft's Skull and Bones, a game that's as rich in adventure as the seven seas are in lore. But what's a pirate game without factions vying for control, treasures, and the very seas themselves? That's right, we're diving into the factions of Skull and Bones, where allegiances are as shifting as the sands on a deserted island, and today's friend could be tomorrow's foe. Let's hoist the sails and navigate through the waters of information as we uncover the factions that rule the waves in Skull and Bones. From local powerhouses to megacorporations with an insatiable thirst for dominance, each faction brings its own flavor to the pirate's life. Whether you're a solo sailor or part of a fearsome fleet, knowing where to find these factions and understanding their motives could be the difference between sailing smoothly and finding yourself walking the plank. First up, we have the Sea People. These maritime nomads are the chill wanderers of the Red Isles, living a life many of us dream about peaceful, in tune with the sea, and avoiding conflict unless absolutely necessary. They've set their anchors around Tenena Town, making the eastern and southern regions of the Red Isles their haven. But don't let their peaceful nature fool you. When pushed, they'll defend their waters with the ferocity of a storm at sea. Next, meet the clan of Farah. Imagine going from farming to becoming one of the most feared groups on the high seas, that's the Farah for you. With a stronghold in the western and northern areas of the Red Isles and their base in Ankohanana, these fierce farmers turned warriors are a testament to the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Or in this case, a pirate by their plow. The Confederation of Anguana introduces us to the tribal warriors expanding from their African roots. They're not just about warfare, these folks are traitors at heart, dealing in coveted ivories. Find them along the coast of Africa, where their home in Jew stands as a beacon for those willing to prove their worth and perhaps make a deal or two. Then, there's the Dominion of Rempa, locked in a David vs. Goliath battle against the Dutch Merchant Company. Aspiring to break the Dutch monopoly in the East Indies, they control the northern half, with their capital in Sunny. It's a classic underdog story, but on the high seas, where every wave could carry fortune or folly. Speaking of the Dutch Merchant Company, these sailors from a struggling nation strive to be the top dogs of piracy in the East Indies. With a base in Eustin capital along the Naga coastline, they're a powerful force, proving that sometimes even pirates sail for a cause greater than gold. Last but not least, the Compagnie Royale, the game's French faction, stretches its influence far and wide, from the eastern Red Isles to the southern coast of Africa. They're all about the business, willing to trade with anyone as long as the price is right. Their capital, La Bastide, is a hub of activity, where alliances are as fluid as the wines they probably trade in. Now for my take. Skull and Bones isn't just about the thrill of the hunt or the call of the sea, it's a complex world where your choices matter. Each faction brings a unique dynamic to the game, challenging players to think beyond just plundering and pillaging. Do you align with the underdogs, throw in with the megacorps, or chart a course all your own? The seas are crowded, and with hints of new factions on the horizon, like the British Trade Alliance, the waters are only going to get choppier. In the grand tradition of piracy, Skull and Bones invites us to explore not just a world, but the characters and factions that populate it. It's a reminder that the pirate life, while full of adventure, is also about navigating the complexities of power, allegiance, and survival. So, grab your compass, set your sights on the horizon, and let's make our mark on the world of Skull and Bones. Who knows? Maybe we'll find our fortunes, or perhaps, we'll find something even more valuable the stories we create along the way. Until next time, keep your sails high, your swords sharp, and your eyes on the prize. Happy sailing, everyone!